Meteorologist Nikki D. Ray. Oh my God, I'm shaking right now. Yeah, you're looking at video out of Chippewa County, Wisconsin, where the National Weather Service confirms this tornado touchdown last night. You can see that funnel cloud in the distance there, bolts of lightning. That tornado caused a lot of damage. That truck flipped over on its side and some structures just crumbled to the ground. Wow. That is scary at nighttime. Especially when that people is the may most be asleep. Dangerous time yes. because a lot of people sleep maybe with a sound machine. Mm -hmm. They sleep heavy. It's and hard you just to hear. Can't see where it's coming. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why it's so important to always have your alerts on yes. and make sure you're staying safe. Now, Wisconsin, they typically don't I see a lot of tornadoes. On average, the U.S. has about a thousand per mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. They see 23 of those, and majority of the time they're EF zero or EF one because right. how Wisconsin's terrain is, there's a lot of open land, so they're able to break up and then dissipate. But this particular one was definitely strong, similar to the one they had 22 years ago back in 1996 but you can tell oh excuse me 1992 we have a lot of rain of course we had that spin-up tornado take place but that wasn't the only damage that we did have occur a lot of trees down wind as well as hail damage was also in play not too much of that for us we had yesterday's cold front that didn't even bring much rain let alone severe weather but it did drop our temperatures we are starting out in the 40s 50s and a few 60s it's significantly cooler than yesterday morning but before you head out layer properly because it is going to warm up quite quickly the moment the sun comes up, which is going to take place at 659 this morning. By 10, you're already at 72. 2 o'clock, 82 degrees, followed by a high of 85. I'll have all those details plus the warmer day tomorrow coming up.